with us not having our accommodation and tuition paid for, we we uh, our livelihoods have been put in danger. Most students have resorted to, to, to loans and borrowing, borrowing each other money, you know, because like they said, some students, they receive some stipends and some haven't received, uh, received uh, stipends. So we resort to um, assisting each other, you know, borrowing each other money, some borrow even from home and, 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 and all of that, all of that, you know, but it, we, it's a very uh, difficult situation because things are very expensive. under a contract with an agency our tuition invoice is with the agency and the university won't give us the invoices the invoices are with the agents and the university knows that we are under contract with these agents that need to represent us from first to final year i almost got evicted on monday and had it not been for the intervention of the very same um agency that's being fired from the job that it has been doing for us for all these years we've been in Russia. Uh, we now find ourselves not knowing what's going to happen. I'm gonna be on the streets getting cold now. Well, why is it, this is getting warm, warm in South Africa. Russia is getting really cold. Like, like temperatures are dropping and people are squatting with each other already. When we started engaging with those people, we were hoping that they would respond to us like we had our children, but no. Instead, they, they, they showed us literally that they don't care about us. And that now is shocking because now um, we are now put in position of, of representing students and we now have to go back to the students and tell them that, guys, our efforts in trying to get hold of these people have resulted to nothing. So it now becomes an emotional burden on anybody that now we have to carry the weight of not only ourselves and our plight, but the plight of everyone. The government allocates us 5,000 rand stipend, but after the conversion rates and after we after paying the the agencies ourselves, we find that maybe the stipend now is about 4,200 rand. That money amounts to nothing because now we have to pay for transports, there's food, um, accommodation, uh, medical insurances, you know, and all these bills. Because the thing is with these universities, number 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 one. Um, they have these extra charges that we don't know where they come from. From time to time, they'll tell you, you have to do this and that. You have to do this from your own pocket. Last week, they told us we need to translate our passports. How are we expected to do that with the little money that they just gave us? You know, the thing is, the government, they said they are sponsoring students from disadvantaged backgrounds. Maybe they need to define disadvantaged to us because that's what they said. They say they're sponsoring students that come from disadvantaged backgrounds. But right now, they're busy telling us about refunds. Pay for that and then we'll refund you. Find a solution to pay for that, we'll refund you. Where does that money come from? You know? It's tough, honestly, because uh, my mom was telling me that uh, every time she starts thinking about it, she just breaks down because she is in no position to assist in any way and she trusted that i would be well taken care of so it becomes very 
very difficult for them to also comprehend because even the lies that we are being fed are the same lies they are being fed. So they really can't comprehend uh, the, the extent of this because most of our parents are in no position to actually like assist in any way because they are far away from us and, and it becomes difficult when you can't even give your child a hug as she's going through so much and it's really, really painful. It's, it's hard, man. I come from a, a very small town called Waterfall Boven in Bumalang. You know, not so many people um, come from there that become doctors. You know, so many people um, reach this far. You know, so this is an investment that I took upon myself as a as a person. This is what I'm trying to achieve, not only for myself but for my family, for the people around me, for my community. You know, so for me to go back um, back to South Africa without this qualification is going to be um, um, a tremendous situation. Thank you.